Today we are going to learn how to use back channel chat. I'm first going to show you how to do this as a teacher and then remind you of ways that you can incorporate this with your classroom. So as it says on the website, this is a live chat for classrooms. Um, it's designed for educational discussions, which I love, and I do think that this can be a really valuable tool to have in your classroom, particularly for those students who do not like asking questions in front of their peers. This is a great way to ask their peers before they vocalize their question um, in case any of their peers don't know the answer first. I like to use this while we are reading literature in class so that students can get clarifying questions about plot or wait, who is that character? Any kind of little small question that they feel might disrupt the class, this is a great place for that. So go to backchannelchat.com, exactly as it's spelled in my URL, and you're going to click try for free as a teacher. Now, when you do this, you'll want to fill in your email address, whatever you want your display name to be, probably your um, working title, and then also what you want your back channel title to be. So. As I say in my written instructions, this is a period one class where I want three different groups so that they are smaller and I want them to be able to have just a few names to look at so that it's not very distracting with a lot of people answering questions. So I'm going to make this first one called period one group one and then I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. Once I hit start, I enter the chat. Now, this is something that I've already used. So you can see I have girls, students, sorry, um, I'm teaching an all-girls school. I have students who have already um, put, their, put their chat in here. You can see this was from two years ago for this one. Um, and it says, this is them planning their uh, posts. They're just checking in with each other. They had to do this quietly. So this was a kind of our practice round. And you can see online users, they are no longer a part of the group. This was two years ago, but you as the teacher are a part of it. Now, the screen that will show up when you first create a class um, is the directions will be the first thing that you see. So when you're creating a new chat, you'll see welcome to back channel chat. On your right is the list of participants and you'll see them add your class the more you go. You can have, you can post this unique URL right here on your Google Classroom, wherever you have it, um, or you can choose to send them a direct chat. So you can, or sorry, a direct, um, a, a code that you might wanna display in your classroom. So the code is accessed by going up to settings over here in the right corner, top right corner, and then coming down to invite. And then you can see if you want to add your co-teacher here, you can have a teacher code. That way, when they enter the chat, they will be distinguished as a teacher. And so students will actually know, OK, that's an adult talking to me, not one of my peers. Um, and then the other code is right here. It's nice and short for your students to add, and you can display that. If you choose to go with the code option, you'll come back to back channel chat, sending them just straight to that one. And again, giving them the option to put in their code. So I'm gonna copy and they just want, you wanna make sure they have an appropriate name and then you can put the, you can put the code in there and then it will tell them to join as a student. So once they hit join as a student or once they click on that unique code that you're given right here or that unique URL, sorry, this is what your chat will look like. So you can see uh, I already said welcome to the chat and then the student will appear with a different icon. They can play around with this. They can choose to be this girl um, and then it will change their um, it'll change their icon for them. So that the next time they chat, it will say, okay, like here's Sally and this is her chosen image. All right, so that is pretty much it. Again, this is super useful for students to ask for help without vocalizing it. And it has been really awesome in the uh, Zoom environment when the chat is turned off for distance learning. Um, please visit my written instructions if you would like more clarity. Thank you.